Latest headlines with Donald Trump, as many know, I already covered what supposedly went down in Butler, Pennsylvania with Trump. I covered this extensively, and right when you see the placard where it says fired, we know what takes place with Donald Trump. And that gets into the second attempt on Donald Trump's life, this time in Florida. And this individual, Ryan Roth, the so-called suspect, with all the flags behind him of all the nations, and of course, this represents the UN and the coming New World Order. Now, let's take a listen here to this Fox News broadcast regarding this whole situation once again with Ryan Roth. And the devil's in the details as always. And the numbers are going to be there like every single one of these news stories. Let's take a look and take a listen. Former President Trump is uninjured. He is defiant, but there is a sense of disbelief that this has happened again just over two months since the president was shot in Pennsylvania. Police cordon off the scene of yet another assassination attempt against former President Donald Trump. And just like with all these news stories, I'm looking very carefully at all details and just take a look at what we see here and just getting a little bit of a closer look of the fire truck and the police SUV. What do you see? That magic number 33 with engine 33 and the sheriff's SUV vehicle with the star. And this is very important how it's all integrated. The 33 and the star, as I mentioned many times, the occultists that run this world are all about the star. Stars are souls. They're not distant suns, as the Bible states from Revelation 12, verses 3 through 9 representing a third or 33% of the fallen angels. Stars and angels are interchangeable. They are one of the same. That's why the star is promptly displayed all over society. And I'll cover more regarding the star symbolism as this video presentation continues. Now let's take a look here, moving forward, more with Fox News and this new story. A Secret Service agent caught a glimpse of a gun through a fence along Trump's Florida golf course. Former President Donald Trump is safe and unharmed. An agent opened fire and the suspect fled, but he was soon pulled over and arrested. He's been identified as 58-year-old Ryan Ruth of Hawaii. First off, his name just so happens to be a 33 name. And as the reporter mentioned, he's from Hawaii. You get your 33, your dual 33s. Just as I've shown many times in the past with the Grand Sovereign Commander in Freemasonry, and the dual 33s in plain sight. And also take a look here at this one CNN photo. And this is an aspect I covered many times over the years in previous videos with the horse symbolism. Make no mistake about it. This is by design. As I've shown with Jeff Bowman in Boston and Zarnayev with the horse symbolism and Zarnayev's hat. Of course, the 33 in plain sight. Joe Biden with the red horse. And as you see here, Demon Oliver with the horse as well when it comes to blue origin. This is a constant theme with the horse symbolism and just more the same when it comes to the horse symbolism with Ryan Roth. Here he is in Ukraine and just take a look at the background. You gotta look at all the details. You gotta look around and the symbolism is there. What do you see here? Little tiny horse, stuffed horse against the wall here. You see some other things here such as this smiley face with the one eye symbolism. I find it interesting, it says Siemens here. And that's a duality aspect when it comes to electricity and something else as well. Let's move on here. More details when it comes to Ryan Roth. Again, I showed this photo already. Let's take a little bit of a closer look here. And what do we see? Everything's in plain sight for those that have eyes to see with the 33 once again. Make no mistake about it. And again, regarding the UN. Like I mentioned earlier, and the 33 in plain sight, the UN logo just so happens to have 33 segments. What an amazing coincidence. And also, I should mention when it comes to this new story that was put out in Australia as well. It's a worldwide, of course, news story. And look at the name here, Ryan Wesley Roth. They have to have those three names with these news stories, just like these famous news stories from the past, John Wilkes Booth, Lee Harvey Oswald, with the three names of peace. This is a constant theme as well. And that gets back to Donald Trump, which this news story is all about. Of course, this is something I've covered in the past with Mar-a-Lago, 
in the whole FBI investigation of Trump and the 33 boxes that were recovered from Trump's estate. 33 is prevalent with these news stories. Just take a look here at Trump going back in time as so-called president as this video plays with these students. And take a look at this one camera angle and what do you see prominently displayed and there is the Masonic Square and Compass. And very important to point out, next to the Masonic Square and Compass is the star. Like I mentioned earlier, the importance of the star symbolism. Just like you see here with Queen Elizabeth and Queen Elizabeth VIII, the red and blue for purple equaling royalty or witchcraft. Again, the Square and Compass and the star. This is so very important to understand for those that are interested in this world system, this world life system, and who's running the show. This is what they're all about, signs and symbols. Just like in Washington, D.C., right above the White House, you see the strange angle of the streets. There's a reason for that, as many know. Take a look at the streets right above the White House. You have the star symbolism and the goat of Mendez. It's by design by those that run this world. Satanic Masons, just like you see here with George Washington. Every single president, so-called president, have been Freemasons. Freemasonry is nothing more than Satanism in disguise. John, chapter 9, verse 25. Whereas once I was blind, now I can see. Now I can see. Now I can see. I believe the truth 